Today in the crypto space, we see the market going sideways. Some altcoins are doing pretty good, but Bitcoin still around that $44,000 level means that the altcoins can continue to the upside. Ethereum still around that $2,200 mark. It could it be one of the indicators for an altcoin season? We'll have to see very, very soon if Ethereum has the strength to break out to higher levels. And we have some of these altcoins doing pretty good. Look at Cardano, Doge, Near Protocol, HBAR, and many, many more. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin. Coin as a leading indicator but more importantly i want to talk about one altcoin one altcoin that has been doing pretty good however guys it has retraced and that project is called terra teraxa so you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate that strategy subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on those socials or better yet guys join the discord the discord is a great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material all right guys let's begin what's going on here with bitcoin what's going on here with eth what's going on here with the general market bitcoin as you can see is still showing a bit of strength you know it's been going up slow and steadily in the last 24 hours still grinding away up approximately one percent slow and steady ethereum the same thing kind of you know getting a few more peaks and valleys but still higher highs and higher lows you know ethereum looking for that breakout could be an absolutely bullish thing for the altcoin market of course uh, here on the channel we've been scaling into some of those altcoins those low cap altcoins and of course they'll definitely benefit from you know ethereum showing some strength ultimately seeing some of the capital flow right into the lower caps however guys the general market as you can see is still looking okay doge ran up and it's currently getting a tiny pullback on lower time frames avax looking good breaking out to higher levels after a nice little bull flag i'm liking that because obviously i've been interested in some of those layer ones those larger cap these larger cap layer ones for the last little while so i'm very happy that um, i was able to get in at the bottom 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 price at the bottom of the range obviously we're going to be waiting for some good price action to the upside on some of these chain link kind of going sideways in preparation for another bull flag or another continuation to the upside very possible we have dot looking pretty good matic and many others that are part of that layer one large cap blue chip narrative um we have cosmos adam doing pretty good of course h bar waking up finally doing some move a nice move to the upside near protocol you know i've been rooting for near for a nice comeback filecoin kind of going sideways still i still feel like filecoin is probably you know it's probably going to do very well however guys there's a lot of competition if you've been following me here on the channel you know i've been talking about crust crust lately um has been doing very well um join me tonight at, at live tonight at 7 30 and we'll talk about crust and some of the price action of course we have mantle mnt reaching for those higher levels quad finally waking up trekking away from that 100 mark guys finally seeing quant you know step away from that zone is really really healthy and very necessary to get bullish here on quant uh what else do we have here grt the graph waking up a little bit when it moves it does move guys so be prepared for that one uh stacks obviously running up based on the bitcoin narrative but just in the last little while a bit of de-risking has been happening down approximately eight percent and as you continue going down this market you can see that a lot of these altcoins are uh, you know kind of going sideways there's a few dips like corrective moves but you know maker not looking the greatest sideways for algo uh, but up, uh, still up 18% in the last seven days, so still very, very healthy. Uh, we have WeMix waking up, and we have B BTT finally waking up 95% move today. What's going on with BTT? Why is BTT moving? 
But I guess nobody's complaining if you were able to get in at the bottom of the range. Uh, what else do we have here? Slow grinds to the upside for many of these altcoins. Still looking strong, generally speaking. However, the moves are not as big as they were. Beam up 20%, guys. Congrats if you got into Beam. I bought a small bag a couple weeks ago, so um, definitely in the green. However, guys, deep dive worthy for sure. Definitely deep dive worthy. We have Clay waking up as well, 5% to the upside. And obviously, um, we have some good movers today decent ones helium hnt guys up 45 percent i don't know if you guys remember helium but um i kind of you know liquidated my positions and then when it went to solana things weren't looking so good for hnt and solana but now that hnt helium is on the solana network guys it got some life back into it definitely looking pretty good up 45 percent in the last little while so really bullish ultimately guys the market is still hot still looking good there are some you know sideways type of consolidations happening as we speak some profit taking maybe de-risking around the uh, around the market but generally as long as bitcoin is holding up and going sideways we can expect a continuation to the upside all right guys let's talk about some of these charts i know you're here to talk about charts but let's begin looking at bitcoin uh this is terra obviously today's video is on terra but i want to take a look at bitcoin first because bitcoin could be that leading indicator letting us know what's happening in the immediate short term and bitcoin running up like this is super healthy for the market as a whole however you're going to expect a lot of capital flowing into to bitcoin and ignoring those altcoins and we kind of you see that we're bro we broke out of this upward sloping channel but the question is do we continue or do we get back into the channel and expect a correction all right let's see what's going on could we expect a correction that's the biggest biggest question on many individuals mind currently i do expect that we're going to get a reaction here out of about forty five thousand eight hundred dollars give or take okay right around this zone and if we start zooming in you'll see that there's a bit of a volume gap here that could act as an area of resistance once we reach the top of the volume gap so we're still there we're still hanging around i can expect some people front running this target and this is why potentially at the current moment we are getting a bit of a reaction does it have enough bullishness to actually get there to that target maybe maybe not i don't nickel and dime at the end of the day if you're in a long position you got in here here or anywhere around the zone guys be careful with your gains you want to protect those gains at all costs however guys getting into a fresh long in my opinion obviously not financial advice but in my opinion is a bit risky to get here long on bitcoin we're close to the golden pocket it already ran up significantly from the previous from the absolute bottom that we've already hit now a bit of a corrective move maybe coming down to about 25 in my opinion would be okay and very healthy maybe about 30 would be absolutely fine as well but we're gonna have to see what kind of corrective move we do get because ultimately you know the market doesn't generally move in one straight green candle and without corrections on all time frames we get corrections on all time frames so on the larger time frames i'm talking about the daily maybe in the four day even the weekly, it's due for a corrective move. We're due for a corrective move, whether it be coming down down to about 25, even about 20. We're going to have to see where the momentum takes us. And currently, you can see the momentum is definitely overbought. So getting to a fresh long on all time frames right now on Bitcoin is significantly risky. So we're going to have to wait for the market to cool off. Get, let's get oversold. Let's get oversold on, on a couple time frames. And then we'll see about getting back in in fresh longs, reaccumulation. Right now, it's about trailing up the stop losses taking profits and ultimately protecting the gains all right guys let's move on today's video is all about terra terraxa what a good bullish project overall terra has been uh, on a tear obviously doing very well um but ultimately we expect pullbacks like i mentioned and if you look at here on the weekly you can see that terra did get a bit of a rejection here at these two red arrows where i was like you know it's it's, it's a safe place to protect your gains given the fact that we bought the dips right on this corrective move to the downside the first corrective move look what happened we came down bought two green arrows this this is where i was like look if we're gonna take some risk now's the time right and then we were also prepared for a bit of a a further dip if we came down and broke through the volume gap i was like look guys this could happen and if it does just be prepared to spam those buy orders it didn't happen that's the name of the game it's all about probability so probability was that we hit a close to a bottom around this area 
So it was safe to say that it's a good zone to start DCA. Now that we've broken out and we've broke previous highs, which was another area where you could have wanted to protect it a bit of gains. And then we flew through a volume gap. We got to some extension levels all over the place. I almost feel like, you know, this obviously this TA needs to be a bit cleaned up because it's been a while since I talked about Terra. I thought we were due for an update. Look, the golden pocket 1.618. Let's get rid of the 1.27 definitely here. And you can see this zone right here was an important one. So let's get rid of it. The volume gap no longer exists. We get rid of that. Uh, you can see that the price action, in fact, the entire volume gap is this whole area. This whole area has very low volume. The, re the reality is the majority of the volume is all the way down here. Now, we can't negate the fact that it's very possible that we get a retracement, right? This could be just the beginning of a retracement. If we go on larger time frames, that's going to look like a blow off top. It's going to look very bearish on the monthly, obviously, because of that quick rejection. But you can see the momentum on the monthly still trekking to the upside. The the weekly overbought definitely overbought bearish divergence higher highs on the price action lower highs on the rsi let's reuse this line you can see what i mean and uh the macd is still looking okay though ema is facing up green histogram bars to the upside so looking pretty good in the bullish control zone however um ultimately to see a reversal is absolutely acceptable here and i'm waiting for that opportunity not only for myself but for you guys that are sitting on the sidelines waiting to buy the dip now where would i be looking first level that i'm interested in seeing what happens first of all let's redo reuse uh, let's redo some of this ta um, i feel like we got to get rid of some of this uh, i feel like this can be reused as well let's make this a part of the volume gap scenario and we'll make this red because it is a volume gap uh, this right here borderline unnecessary this right here let's bring it down and this may be the previous high um i know there's some wicks here but really the important part for me is right around the zone okay and i'll explain why because at the end of the day we do bring in a lot of volume here and this is a good support zone below it we have a volume gap let me zoom in a little bit and here we are on the weekly so it's pretty condensed all this price action very little noise okay we'll go in lower time frames in a second i'm not trading the weekly necessarily i'm just looking for clear indications of bigger picture uh, moves here um, you can see that there's a lot of weakness here uh, based on previous price action very low volume zones starting from about 0 0.0067 and above it's not that much price action to hold up we get a bit in here you can see that it kind of picks up okay so we can understand that we could even get a bit of support here if we do back test but the reality is we could also get support around the zone because it starts to pick up here and this is all based on previous price action this this cluster a bit here a bit over here you get what i mean so ultimately down to about 0 0.011 point, uh, point 0 0.012 is not a bad idea to expect a retracement now you can see that we're slowly trekking to the downside no clear signs of support just yet and like i mentioned the macd is still looking green we could continue to the upside but the rsi not looking so good the bearishness however guys we've known that a lot of these altcoins have been invalidating a lot of this bearish price action a lot of the bearish ta so it could this be a retracement like it was in the past just a bit of a retracement and then we gotta ask ourselves what kind of retracement are we dealing with if you look at where we are swing low let's see fibonacci swing high and you can see the golden pocket is right here, very confluent with this area where I have this horizontal. So let's reuse this and let's say, you know what, if it comes down here, I'm ready to buy. Golden pocket, not bad of a scenario. Then if we come down, you have the 886 perfectly placed right at this cluster of supply and demand you can't negate the fact that that's a good area so let's reuse some of this and bring that here and put a green arrow if we happen to be lucky enough to see terra at this fire sale level guys that's the time now the 0.38 is very important. This is where we are right now. The 0.38 is not even considered a, a retracement for a lot of traders. It's just a healthy breather. It's a taking profits type of scenario. A lot of people may be taking profit, de-risking, waiting for this dip to finish, and then continue to the upside. The reality is if we break below, close some candles below the 0.38 Fibonacci level, people start to get the impression that we're coming down at least to the golden pocket and maybe as low as the 886. So we're getting to that area where we're slowly breaking down. And if it does happen, anticipate a further correction. Now, if you're looking here on the weekly, obviously it looks like it wants to come down in one right candle, but it doesn't happen like that, guys. So let's get into lower time frames. Let's look at the daily quick. You can see that this is starting to look a little bit like a triangular formation with a good level of support below. Okay, I'm going to get rid of uh, the Fibonacci's because they do clutter up the 
the TA, okay? And I'm gonna kind of use a horizontal right here, but I'm gonna make it white to make it clear that ultimately this is a descending type of wedge. Now, if you include the wicks, you know, broadens it out a little bit, but you get what I mean. It's somewhat descending. If we break this previous low, guys, not looking good whatsoever. And in the shorter terms, you can see that we do have that volume gap. And the next area to watch out for, for that dip is guess what? The previous high, and guess what? That 0 0.012 zone that I have that green arrow at. Let me kind of show you here. If I zoom left, you, you zoom right, you can see. Okay, green arrows. And then if you look left, you have the previous high that we've been dealing with for profit taking because we've been definitely looking at Teraxa for a good while now. We've been all through all of this accumulating and all of that. So all of a sudden, what we really have to do is protect the gains, number one. Hopefully you were able to take a bit of profit here, a bit of profit here and scale down your position, your your exposure so that upon this retracement, you're not over or overly exposed and giving back your gains to the market. Then ultimately what you want to look here on the daily is what does the momentum look like? Look, it's trying to get down to oversold conditions. Right now we're entering the chop zone on the RSI, which means that we could go sideways for a little while here. And it could also mean that we get support like we have done in the past, get some support and bounce and potentially come up for another drive of momentum to the upside, which which means that we could ultimately make a higher high, which would give us another bearish divergence. However, three drives of it, three drives of class A bearish divergence, it's ha it happens all the time. So what we really have to understand is another pump of momentum could bring us to a higher high, even um, a double top, right? Higher highs meaning hitting the 1.27 extension or something like that, right at about, you know, let's see what kind of extension levels we can get here. Swing high to swing low. We go here, we have the 1.27, you have the 1.618, if you get what I mean, you got lots of options here for this swing low swing high to swing low and retracement to the upside and get into that extension levels just be aware that if we're getting top ish if we're getting top heavy be uh, um understanding with the fact that we could even make a lower high here you know a lower high it potentially could be the beginning of a change of structure on all of this where we start to create a pivot point lower highs lower lows lower highs lower lows and then the trend is your friend to the downside so this is where if you're going to get into a fresh long you got to understand that Terra already basically made a great move to the upside. And it's very likely that we start getting into a corrective type of distribution phase right into this zone um, where we can start seeing some complex patterns, right? So um, a complex head and shoulders with multiple shoulders and a head and multiple shoulders type of thing. So we got to be very patient here. I'm not saying that we can't get to higher levels. It's just that if you're going to get into a fresh long right now, be very greedy on those gains because ultimately the people that are greedy get punished. And this is where I I don't want that to happen okay so look at the momentum it's looking like it wants to come down we might get that a next impulse to the upside based on rsi the macd is looking bearish ema is facing down red instagram bars to the downside all we really need to do in this case is continue coming down and getting into the bearish control zone and then it's really really not looking good and then if you get into the four hour the four hours obviously now we start to expand and look into this consolidation which is a symmetrical triangle as we get to the apex of the symmetrical triangle which is statistically speaking as you get closer to the 70 percent mark which would be eyeballing it right around here as soon as we get there uh, which we're almost there and guess what we're, we're at the bottom which means that it's likely that we start looking for lower levels guys again keep an eye and i'm going to kind of make this a little bit better let's keep an eye around this area because of, we're zooming in so we can see a bit more of the price action and you can see that ultimately this is the bottom of the volume gap we can make this a bit better because on um, a larger um zoomed in on lower time frames you can see a little bit more of the the volume profile here which is looking pretty good right around this area coming down and let's hope we get support if we do not get support you guys know my tar targets we could definitely come down here and again there's another buy opportunity and so on and so forth guys so so far terra is looking good not real bearish but we got to understand that ultimately the party could be over for a lot of these altcoins if we do get that rejection now if we don't get the rejection from a bullish standpoint guys the sky's the limit in this case we can start hitting 2.618 extension 3.618 extensions and so on and when there's no price action looking left that could give us a bit of you know confidence at the end of the day all we're really looking at is trying to get into price discovery you know breaking previous highs and really getting into price discovery so it could definitely happen i just feel like maybe a corrective move in the meantime before that happens might be super super healthy okay guys so just be careful here getting into um it too quick by retracement to dca on every little dip and overall your position would be nice and low and try to drag your average cost down to lower levels as we keep on dipping all right guys thank 
thank you for stopping by if you haven't yet do the channel a massive favor and slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm and of course i'm going to be live tonight at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action it's a great time and place for you to make some requests if you have any projects you want me to cover that's a good time and place to attend and of course the discord guys that discord is a great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip